Excel 2007 provides a couple of means by which you can format your workbooks and worksheets globally. This allows you to standardize the look and feel of your sheets and also allows for a consistent appearance for your documents. One of these measures is called themes and that exists under the page layout tab on the ribbon. Here you have these themes group of icons and controls. And themes allow you to set certain font attributes, certain fill colors, uh, allows you to choose coordinated color schemes for your worksheets. And also is very beneficial because these features also exist in the other Office 2007 programs such as Word and PowerPoint. Clicking on the themes button here, each theme has its own distinct name and as I hover over them I see the spreadsheet or the worksheet in the background is changing in accordance with the theme that I hover over. I have not yet committed to any of these themes by actually clicking on the theme but I'm seeing how it changes. Now keep in mind that in this case it's a small spreadsheet that I have up and most of it is blocked or obscured by the actual drop down menu here. But you'll see that the different themes allow different fonts, different font styles and different color schemes and so on. You also have options up in that ribbon for color. And here you have different groups of colors, coordinated colors, and each group has its own distinct name. These colors would come into play for any time within your spreadsheet that you have an option to change the color, whether it's a font color, a fill color, a line color, and it would group you to a finite set of colors which are all run in accordance with the theme that you choose. You also have fonts which give you different font groups and typically there's one font for your your titles or your headings and another font for your actual cell data and you have a scroll down scroll bar here you can go down and as you hover over again you'll see the spreadsheet behind the menu changing in accordance with the different options until or unless you click on one of those font themes and to apply it. You also have effects themes which apply to graphics or any visuals you have on your worksheet. I don't have any here currently in mine but some of these have shadow effects, some of them have three dimensional or highlight effects or enhancement effects that can lend some interest to your graphics within your spreadsheet. I'm going to go ahead and choose a theme here. Say I'm going to choose, uh, let's choose the uh, Civic. Okay, and you see that gave me a distinct font style, a distinct color for my heading, color for my actual data. And if you apply any formatting changes before you change the theme, you might have to go back and fine tune some of your features. I go ahead and apply the same font color and style to these other two columns C and D by just clicking on one of these, clicking this little format painter icon and applying it to the new columns that I have here. Okay, you also have cell styles and cell styles exists under the home tab of the ribbon. Cell styles again gives you different groups, the categories of options here that you can apply towards a range within your spreadsheet. Different color schemes, different uh, formatting, and let's demonstrate that. Now the cell styles that you have available to you are going to be limited based on what theme you might have applied to your, your worksheet, so keep that in mind. But I'm going to select just the column headings here, and I go to my cell styles. Now there's a distinct category for titles and headings. You see there's a different font size, there's a different uh, underline effect or thickness of the line, and select the heading style that you like, and then click to apply it. There it goes, there my headings are done. Now I'm going to select my actual data on my sheet. I'm going to go back to the cell styles icon, click the icon, give me my choices. Now good, bad, and neutral, this applies to maybe the numbers or the data you're portraying. Maybe the, the figures are poor, uh, sales were bad, 
That's what the bad applies to. Notice the color significance of the red. Good for good news, good performance. Uh, the figures are positive. And then you have neutral, like warning, and that's the yellow color. For a data and model, now as I hover over these, I see how it applies to the selected range in my sheet. These are really intended for any cells where data is to be input or any output cells where a actual calculation or result will appear. So I'm going to skip over that section. We also have themed cell styles with different gradients or different degrees of color in each of these groups. And you see as you hover over, whichever one you choose can be applied. There we go. And if I come back to my cell styles again, I also have number formats. So notice the numbers in the sheet, how they change in accordance with whichever format I'm selecting. And if I want to say currency, well, this, this is not currency. These are actual numbers. So I don't need to apply any of these number formats here using the cell styles. But cell styles can be applied to a specific range, the entire sheet. It all depends upon what you've selected first. All right, so again, uh, working with a combination between the themes for your spreadsheet, and you have options for colors, for fonts, for effects, overall themes, and your cell styles, you can create formatting attributes to keep your data looking consistently and to still have enough interest in terms of the effects and the features and how it appears on your screen.